Hey guys, how you doing? FM Dal here, and welcome to We're All Wednesday, Ain't We? If you haven't already, like, subscribe, do all the beautiful stuff, and if this is your first time here, where, where you been? Where have you been? You've got so much to go through to get back to this point. But the guys who have been here from the start, and you've seen how it's going, guys, you can see right here, C-. minus. Do you know what else is C-? minus? Me, personally, because I recorded uh, some footage for this just earlier, and um, the footage didn't work. So the sound didn't come through properly. I'm really hoping the sound does this time come through for you all. It didn't come through properly, which meant that I couldn't use that, which meant I had to go to the next stage of the games that I was planning to record anyway, which means we've had a big gap between the last episode and this episode. And I think the biggest shock is that I am still in charge of Sheffield Wednesday. That's right, I'm still the manager here. Even though it tells me right now that this game, Manchester City fixture, is decisive for Edwards. Sheffield Wednesday hierarchy appeared to be finally losing patience with the manager Dale Edwards, according to SkySports.com. They're declaring that the bad news against, uh, bad results, sorry, against Manchester City, which is, is practically certain, uh, will seal my fate. Well, I'll tell you what, if that doesn't do it, a defeat to Sheffield United in the game directly after it will be a problem. This is three days after our last game. But gosh, it's been a couple of months since we last seen you. So let's show you what's been happening. Pre pre wonder, it's um, yeah, it's been a lot, lot of defeats. Come on, Kelly. So we left you last on the Man City game last time, I think it was, on the 4-0 loss uh, and a 4-1 loss to Sheffield United. Well, it's the exact same game, it's just the opposite way round here, and. Um, a worrying time for us all. Anyway, we came out of those two. It was the 3-1 loss to Arsenal. A goal from Tom Lowry. A sent off Sibley, though. And once you've got a sending off, you've really got no chance against these teams who are better than us. A surprise victory over Newcastle United here, though, with Birch and Marin. Marin getting his very first goal. I'm pretty sure his only goal for us so far this season. Uh, they scored with Odson Edouard at the very end of the game. But to be honest with you guys, we played well. We played well. Deserved, deserved a win. I mean, the scores on the right-hand side don't look crazy like it. But we had chances. We looked decent. Thought we would do okay. But the next game was Burnley. And we lost 2-0. Armstrong and Thompson there for them. Yeah, we just went back to playing as we always do. Shocking. Elizondo, shocking. But we got another win. This is where I thought it was changing, you know? You get that feeling. Brozier scored. We looked good. We came out of that to a Brentford game away and we lost 2-1. But it was a very last-minute goal from Concesao who scored for them. Um, but, you know, we were 1-1 for a lot of that end of the game. It felt good. To be honest, we could have been winning that game. It was a Bazuno ever mistake. So we've taken him out of the squad. A Bazunu mistake, which was, was just awful. It was a shocker. Um, and then if, if on the last episode that unfortunately had, had the talking issues, we lost 5-1 to Leeds, which let me tell you now, guys, wasn't fun. Uh, there was nothing about that game. That was fun. It was horrible. Uh, we got a goal through Brozier, which was nice. It was early on. We won 1-0 up. We were like, yeah, maybe this new formation that we're playing at the moment could work. Um, and it, it, you know what? It's not been the worst change in formation, but it's not had the, the exact right uh, consequence that we'd hoped for. We came out of that to a one loss against West Brom. And again, you know, poor performances. Elizondo, who I... I'm going to tell you now, boys, if I'm in charge, when we get to the transfer window, we will have a new left back in. I bought one. It's done. Well... Work permit permitting, it's done. I don't know, he probably is still just as bad as, as Elizondo, but look, I had to do it. I had to do it. Spazito's now playing centre-back for us. We lost 2-1 to Tottenham in the next game as well. Massimo sent off for what was never a foul in the first place. A terrible football manager, little incident that I don't believe was, was a foul. We went 1-0 up, they got it 1-1 just after half-time. But, you know, we were fine. And then 90 plus three minutes, Hoiberg comes in with a goal, cut across us and... To be honest, it was it was a joke. It was it says ninety plus three, but I think it was like two minutes of extra time, and it was going on beyond it. It was gross. It was absolutely disgusting. No one wanted to see it. But a nil nil against Watford, which it was more like it. And when you look at us in this, a seventy nine here, a seventy one, a seven, a seven two, a seven, a seven seven, seven four, seven six. We had loads of good players who played well. Hazard saved a penalty in this game, doing. Well, it was fine. Then the next game, we gave away a penalty. And if we hadn't given away a penalty, it would have been another nil-nil. And we would have been keeping that going. And then after that, a 1-1 against Aston Villa. Brozier scoring again. But again, we're not being blown away at the moment. That is the best part of the last five games or so. We've not been blown away since that Leeds game. But now we go into a game against Manchester City. And, uh, and then a home game against Sheffield United. Fingers crossed we can get to that. The Man City one, we're just going to go flat out defence and hope for the best. Um, but we could be sacked. We could be sacked. It could be all over. And this could be the very last episode that we're going to have. Which is... 
It's tough, for sure. For sure, it's tough. But we'll see what we can do. League table looks like this, by the way. We are bottom. Um, 11 points, minus 31 goal difference. Really, really struggling. Struggling. 16 points is a bit of safety. So a win against Man City and Sheffield United, and we'll be out of it. So that's not happening, though, is it? At the top of the league, Man you are at the top with Chelsea up here. Liverpool not too far away. But City not having the best season for them. Four defeats, three draws in there, 12 wins. A little bit far behind for them. They will be disappointed. But Haaland still has 17 goals this season. So it's not screaming uh, hope for us. Chiro Mobile, though, scoring all sorts of goals for Manchester United, including the fact that he's 37. I mean, the Premier League's becoming this this uh, tournament for older players at the moment. really is. But we're doing what we can. And hopefully we can come away with something today. Just something. Just to look at the club vision again, just so you can all see it. They're very disappointed with the attack in football. What the hell do they expect me to do? We're losing every single week. Um, failed on the on the third round minimum of the EFL Cup. We're only C- minus at the moment. But after this game, if they come and sack me, I'm going to be fuming about it. So we are playing a new formation. We've been playing it for a little bit now, which is obviously the goalkeeper. Three centre-backs, two wing-backs then. And then just in that ball in midfield role behind the midfielders. So we've kind of got a line of three, another line of three. Two midfielders, two up front. Counter-attacking system. And that's what we're going with today. So Hazard will be in goal. McKenna, Esposito and Vazquez playing as the three centre-backs. We have Holmes on the right wing-back. And then Familia left wing-back. Sorensen playing the defensive midfield role today. Ezekiel Sarr in the midfield roles. Marin and Ryan Longman. I know, I know. Why are we playing Ryan Longman? Well... Finky has been having a terrible time. Absolutely awful time. He can't score for love, no money. Brozier isn't fit with three days after the last game. He's been playing every single game. It's very hard to play him today. So I've taken him out and given him that rest period. So I've thrown in Longman. He's been doing incredibly well in the reserves. He's scoring goals in the reserves in the under-23. So maybe he can do something. I mean, when we look at their team of Edison, Singo, Lemons, uh, Limons, uh, Marato, Bello, oh, for Brunia. Oh, it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse, doesn't it? So it's going to be very tough today, guys. And I think they're doing us a favour with Foden and Camavinga on the bench. But we've got to just see what we can bring at the Etihad. This could be the last game. Could be the last game for us here at Manchester City. And kickoff probably deserves to be, if I'm honest. Probably deserves to be. Uh, we're going very defensive. We're trying to waste time. And the first highlight is going to be us. Hopefully. We'll see if it gets any further forward. No, it's coming right back at us. And I tell you what, that very defensive option might have to end very, very soon in this game. As Limons plays about to set Morato. And you know what? They're coming forward with pretty good speed. Dwight McNeil and Marcus Edwards, both in this team for Manchester City. That's where they've moved on to. And, you know, fair play to those uh, players. Probably not normally in the first team. But today they definitely are against us as we take the ball back and... Castillo just boots it long. Why wouldn't he? Time wasting. Bello over the left-hand side. This could be a terrible start for us. As Dwight McNeil plays it back out to Bello. Crosses it in. It's over. No worries. Bye. On an absolute truth, though, I've got to say, since bringing Hazard back in, people are saying I haven't got you know, anything better than a League One goalkeeper. Hazard coming back in it has been brilliant. You know, the goals he's conceded have been penalties. They've been, you know, very difficult for him to stop. Absolutely no blame on him for the goals that he's conceded. So... That has been a positive. I mean, today we might say he doesn't make the same silly mistakes that Bazunu does. So that's where we've problem. Well, hold on, well, hold on, Marin, Marin. Oh, it's in the post. Oh! Eighteen attempts. They've had eighteen attempts. Nine on target. Nil, nil. That's that's all that matters, right? Nil, nil. Kick off for the second half. Just hold them to carry on and pray because I think that's all we can do at this point as they come straight away. Addis McNeil back to Alcon. I'll throw, I'll some dude who's probably going to murder us. Oh, no. Brilliant. Block, boys. There. Harlan should have been through. Should have probably scored us. Couldn't you place it in? Two. Marcus Edwards turns it back to Singo. Done well once this, uh, this half already. Only three minutes into it. We need to keep it going. We've given away a sloppy foul over in the corner. And a yellow card to Tom Holmes. The right wing back for us today. Who's not been on great form, if I'm honest with you. As De Bruyne is going to throw in the cross. And it's cleared by Vazquez. Who had an unbelievable season last year, didn't he? An unbelievable signing from Norwich. Brilliant in the championship. Not really made the step up. We're back again. And it's bellowing to Alcon. But Marin has stopped it. Just chill. Oh, oh, did not enjoy that one. Uh, he's gone long. 60 minutes nearly up on the board. We've done well. But this is the kind of period where Man City really can just turn it on. And it's, oh, it's a pen. 
to Pent and Familia Castillo has conceded it. And you know what? I felt we were close to offside, but I don't think that really matters when they give away a penalty. He's played at 6.1 there, Castillo as well. It's definitely going to be given. It is given. And as I say, Hazard really only seems to be conceding from the penalty spot, which... Yeah, it's fair enough as Harlan steps up, scores, bottom right. And is that the end of the Sheffield Wednesday management career for me? Um, hopefully not. Hopefully the, the people in charge have seen where, you know, we've caused problems for Man City today. Um, mainly the problem is we've just put everyone behind the ball. Back again. And uh, we've brought off both of the wing backs in hope, really. Vale's come on. And Breeze come and give away a penalty. Jeez Louise. Wow. What else do you want to do in this game, boys, apart from give away penalties? It's unbelievable. It's a, is it going to be outside the box? Save us here. It's a pen. It's a pen. It's two pens. I mean, if you... if you Turnbull is stepping up because they pity us. And uh, he's going to score 2-0. 2-0. Both penalties, though. Come on. Don't know what you do here. Do so you take the two? Well, there's no point in us attacking. We're just going to get absolutely mullered, aren't we? Um, yeah, he scored a pen. Well done, City. Back again. And at least maybe this one won't be a penalty. As uh, Foden puts it into Turnbull over. They can't score from open play. We're really good from open play. It's just... I spoke too soon as Hazard goes long from the goal kick. Marin can't get anything on it. They're coming back. We haven't had a chance. So we haven't had a chance. We hit the post. So don't forget that. Don't forget that wonderful moment that we all shared together. But uh, apart from that, it has been quite difficult to watch. As Marcus Edwards back over to Singo. Are we going to make it to the new year? I'd quite like to make it to the new year. As Foden has the ball here. Cuts it back into Marcus Edwards. And it's going over to Morato. Turnbull. Cunha. 3-0. And that is... To be honest... Is that it? Is that... I want you to all... Put a comment right now, like th this moment. If you've got to this moment, I want you to put your comment right now to think, is it going to be it after this game? Are we going to get that Sheffield United game, which is in three days, or is this going to be it? I mean, psh, my mind, I think it's going to, I think it's going to be it. I think this could be the last, the last, uh, the last hurrah for us here. At the Etihad Stadium. And Saar tries to make something of the game. And it's a good save from Edison. But he could have let us have a goal there, I feel, Edison. And just make us feel like we did something today, you know. Uh, but Ezekiel's going to cross the ball in. It's over his man. It's cleared away. And it's over. It's over completely. That's, that's what we're waiting for. We're going to wait a little bit longer. We're going to wait a little bit longer. Because Manchester City are not done with us yet. As Marcus said, just, just, don't. Don't even, don't even say they're getting three pens in this game. He's outside the box, surely, ref. Surely don't do this to us. We don't need to give away three pens in one game. It's going back to the last time we were in the Premier League. Does everybody remember that? It's not a penalty this time. Don't worry about it. I'm worrying about the job, though. I think it is looking done. As McKenna just boots the ball out. I mean, that's all we've got. That's all we've got left is a massive boot out. Very quiet. I just don't believe there's going to be a highlight here. Um, there isn't. A bit like this season, to be honest. It's been barely a highlight. That's how the formation looks. That's how badly every single player played today. Apart from Hazard. And guys. Oh, no. Bottom of the league. Five points from safety. When I click this continue button, this could be the end. And for all Wednesday, ain't we? As of right now, we're still in a job. And that's the most important part of it. I spoke to the press. It's all fine. Got to speak about Ezekiel's failings as a footballer. Let's criticise him. But with an arm around him so he doesn't feel too sad about it. Oh, we're still in a job. Sheffield United, let's get to that game. So this is the boy that we brought in. Just so you know, it's all done and dusted. This is the guy joining us in January. And it's this guy, it's Albano Kuku, who is a wing-back, a left-back. It's going to be good for us, I'm sure. You can't complain about the tackling this time. 13 at the age of 19, work rate 17, positioning is already good, teamwork's good. We'll take all of those. Decision-making's good, concentration's good. He's decent on pace and stamina, his strength is fantastic, great jump reach, acceleration good. I feel like we might have a player here. Will I get to play with him? It's a different thing. It's a different thing altogether because he won't be in the next game against Sheffield United. I genuinely think that our whole career is down to this 
game. Whatever happens today, basically, is going to be whether or not I get to go forward as chef, your Wednesday manager. The pressure is on. Hazard's in goal. McKenna, Spasito, Vasquez, Massimo Aguirre, Castillo, Ezekiel, Sibley, Marion Brogia. It would be wrong not to play Castillo, to be honest. He had an awful game last season, but he's been with us forever. And he's, he's such a player. Talking about a player who won't be with us forever. Ivan Aguirre, he's having contract offers. He won't take a contract with us. So whether I'm here or not, Aguirre looks like he won't be with us next season. And going on a free is absolutely brutal for us. Sheffield United have a really silver and gold. A Coley Cody Carbon Carboni. What a name. Klosterman. They've got a team that's way better than where they're sitting as well. They're not far above us. I think they're in um, 18th position at the so Mitrovic up front, Josh Brownhill as well. I mean, it's a big game. We're gonna go and attack it. We're just gonna attack it. Here it is, the team as it looks, Hazard, there's the back three, that's how we're looking. We're taking this formation to the grave with us because, yes, we're not winning games, but we're losing less and that normally keeps me in a job. A loss, draw, draw, loss, they're in a similar position to us, let's be honest. Let's be honest, it's going to be a tough one. The whole of Sheffield is here today. It's a packed out stadium at Hillsborough for the Steel City derby. We're bottom there, now just above the relegation zone there in 17th. There's a both stand just outside there waiting for this whistle. And kick off. Massimo booked after four minutes and the first highlight is theirs. This is not the positive start we wanted as Klosterman has it down the right hand side. Giving it back to Shatar and in to Akali and Cody and Brownhill. They're passing it around us as if we're not there. Have a shot from nowhere lads just to help us out. More chance if you have a, a random long range effort but it's not looking like it as Klosterman. is tackled by Castillo and this could be a moment. He's gone long. We've got time. We've got time with Brozier. Can Brozier look for Marin? He can finish it. Surely can. He's on side. He's off. He's off. Why is the 16? finishing back again and it's been come on ref get him off get him off he's gotta go he's gotta give us a chance here ref yes come on that's the chance we need that is the chance we need kick off the second half and what we've done is we've changed formation we've gone to a four two kind of two it's kind of like a four four two slash a four two four situation just to we need a goal. They're a man down. This is the best opportunity we'll have. We might as well go for it. As Massimo throws it in. It's not got over the keeper. It's down to Ezekiel. He's, got, he's not scored for 20 years. But he has. Marin, is he onside? Is everything okay? We don't know. We're waiting. Was it offside? The referee's gone VAR. Don't add to this. Don't add to it. Just a water goal. Come on. There we go. Second goal of the season for Marin. It's gone out here to Ezekiel. Great strike, Massimo. It was the question was he on side? He was. Come on. Straight away the back though. Straight away the back. Doesn't even take him ten seconds to go forward on us. As Klosterman takes it down the right hand side into ba Balquisha. Not sure. Klosterman back to Romo. Romo needs to be tackled here. Get the ball back, boys. Let's get two 0 up. Let's close out this game. As Carboni has it. Defensive slot for them. They're still doing very, very well with one less player, but that's not going to help them as Aguirre takes the ball. He may be wanting to leave to Schalke, but he's going to try and help us one last time as Brozier is through. It's two. It's two. We might still be in a job. We might still be in a job. Calm yourselves, boys. It's all turning itself around here at Hillsborough today. Two nil. Two nil. Get those. Come on. How many people? Said that we'd be sacked by the end of the Man City game. It looks like we won't be. It looks like we'll still be here into January. And Cuckoo is going to play for me. One last, hopefully, bit of the game. It's in the 80th minute. Played through. Kike. Marin. Three. It's three. It's... We can relax. For the first time, it feels like this season, we can relax. Because we've won a game by more than one goal. And it's three Brozier playing it over the top. Kike, lovely little dink in. And a beautiful... That's the 16 finishing we were talking about from Marin there. Come on, boys. It's over. It's done. It's finished. It's 3-0. And I tell you what, boys, we're back in it. Look at that. Maybe this is the formation we need. And also, the other team to have a player sent off. Good game from Hazard. Aguirre did well. Vasco as well. Good in the midfield. Slots as well. Everybody's done. And Marin, yes, son. Come on. So we still sit bottom of the league. That's that's by the by. We have played a game more than everyone around us as well. But we're closer to the action for sure. We're one win away now from getting ourselves outside of the drop zone. Of course, it could all change. Very, very quickly it could change. And in fact, by the time I press this continue button, we'll see what Southampton and West Brom have done. So West Brom got themselves a little bit of a lifeline. They've done all right, but it's still three points 
Admittedly, goal difference is, is, is in there, but it's getting further away, isn't it? It's getting tougher. We need some of these bigger teams to have a real real bad runs up there. The Wolves types to bring us back in. The Leeds kind of games to bring us back. But guys, we're closer than we were. That's the most important bit. This has helped us. That win against Sheffield United has helped us. It nearly got us above Southampton. C- minus still. When do we come back? Now, guys, I'm not going to be crazy with you. I'm not going to be crazy with you. I'm not going to lie with you. I don't think we've got much time. I think it could end at any point, And I know that's the case. So we're going to make this really, really short. We're, we're going to play the FA Cup game. And then we're going to come back for these two games. We're going to come back for Newcastle, Arsenal. And see how it is at the end of those. If we're doing fine at the end of those, if we've got some points out of them and I don't look like getting sacked, then we'll do that normal go-ahead-in-time situation. But I don't feel we can do it at this point. I think it's too close to the end of the game. We'll see how much time that Sheffield United result gives us. But that's not what you think, guys. We're getting a new left back in. Let's live that dream. Thanks so much for watching. We're all Wednesday, ain't we? Stay in the job. Cheer up, it.